first 20 minutes are complete. We'll hand off Spencer Johnson right wing. Back to Trevin for three. Pole fire. Score! Trevin now. The second half is about to begin. Open AB for three. He got it to go! Alex Marcello. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. BYU tonight trying to do something it has not done at any point this season. Come back from down more than 10 points to win a game. Cougars trailed by 12 in the first half. It's tied at halftime. As we start half number two, BYU with the basketball. And here's a chance, Mark chance Durant, for lead. their first lead of the night. <laughs> so the Cougars will get their first touch of the second half. They go right to left as we see it, and you hear it. The BYU front court right in front of us, but we're high above concourse on the BYU end of the floor. BYU. 35-35 with Pepperdine. Has not led at any point tonight. George for three and the lead and no. Pushed in the back was Matt Harms. Loose ball foul on Zedek. So the Cougs will get another look here at the 22nd clock. No question about it, but almost a little unfortunate as Loner's able to corral that and score it, but BYU will trigger underneath. So 22nd clock, 17 seconds gone in the second half. Cougs again try for their first lead of the night. Marcelo to Loner on the right arc. Harm straight away. Marcelo oh, thought about the three. Runs Ross over the screen. Loner's open for three. He takes it. Now, nah. flat strong. Minute it left his hands. 30 seconds gone. 35-35. Two looks for a lead to start the second half. Smith on the bump. Edwards back to Smith right wing. Going for the seal. Into Edwards, out to Zedek for three. Strong on an offensive rebound, Smith. Long rebound right to the waves. And then Averett holds Edwards. 54 seconds gone here in the second half. Averett fouls. Team fouls even one apiece here in the second half. 35-35 our score. 22nd clock for the waves in their front court. Pepperdine just trying to get that switch so a big guy goes on a little. And then when Harms came down, they kick it out to Zedek. Fortunately missed it. Smith straight away to Zedek. Zedek gets Harms back pedaling. Open for three now as Zedek missed it again. Rebound George. That's good news because that's the guy that's going to be open and shooting. And Dukes he's again. missed a couple. Play for the lead. Low to Harms. Harms right to the rim. And oh. the half dunk <laughs> for Matt Harms. Cougars for the first time tonight play with the lead. 37-35. Matt Harms uh, back on the board. He's got six. It was aggressive. Floater good. Answer the other way. Lightning quick. Colby Ross. Ross. Scores with eight, 37-37. Cougar lead got to two, just the two, and it was quickly answered. Harms posting up on Zedek. Out to A.B. for three. Front rim is another another push in the back. That's Ross. He pushed George. So Colby picks it up. So the Cougars have had two misses in the second half, result in possessions on loose ball fouls by the Waves. So second team foul of the second half. First against Colby tonight. No real foul trouble. Edwards has two, and for BYU, uh, I think I think, I, I think I think Edwards has just the one. Zedek has two, and Ohia Obioha has two. That's right. Barcelo baseline send in to George. Tough play, but he hauls it in on the sideline to Averett. Averett lost the dribble. Oh, it's, luckily it's kicked by Ohia Obioha. It'll stay BYU possession with a 20-second shot clock. Gideon George, far sideline. 37-37, 1-47 gone here in the second half. Marcelo to the top of the key. Right wing Gideon. Gideon will drive to the baseline. Get into a double team. Out and out to Harms. Will fake that three. Marcelo, skip pass right corner. Loner. Loner drives hard to the hole. Missed it at the rim. Rebound to Pepperdine. Strong move. Got contact. And then Pepperdine runs out of the... Oh, no. Runs out of the court with a long pass. But they say they were... Bumped out by Barcelo. Yeah, they're lucky to get the foul by Barcelo because there's no way they catch that inbounds. And BYU gets the whistle. Second team foul against BYU here in the second half. 2-2 in foul. 17-52 to play. 37-37. Ohia Obioha from the left elbow. Will dribble twice. Look for help. George elevates. Knocks the ball out of the air. Right back to Ohia Obioha. The handoff. Edwards. Edwards Ross. 12 second shot clock. 2.20 gone here in the second half. Colby's got the larger Colby, uh, Caleb Lohner on him. Colby missing the three. 
and the rebound to Brandon Abram. Abram races at front court right side, stops on the arc. He's big shot Brandon. When will those shots come here in the second half? Harms hands off to Barcelo, and Barcelo's fouled. Trying to keep up with A.B. was Cedric Altman. Not a lot of fouls called in the first half, only five free throws, and that's a big part of Pepperdine, especially Colby Ross. And they're, they're making up for it early in this one with a bunch of whistles. Altman's second of the night, third on the waves here in the second half. Marcelo straight away has Ross on him, drives him. Tough banker for A.B., no good. Rebound, Smith ahead to Ross, ahead to Altman, reverse lay in good. That was pretty. Cedric Altman scores his first two. Pepperdine's back in front, 39-37. Averitt straight away harms to A.B., A.B., pick and roll low to Matt, bounces once, gets right to the rim, blocked from behind was harms, Pepperdine the other way. Smith, a Euro step, runs over Barcelo, called for the foul, is A.B. That's two on A.B., three on BYU. 16.51 to play. Pepperdine can play for a four-point lead after BYU took a short-lived two-point cushion. you missing a lot in the paint, just not finishing. Well, Cougs have led for a total of 12 seconds. They battled so hard just to get tied at halftime, took a second-half lead it barely lasted. 10 seconds before Ross scored. And then Harms will check out. Harvard's in. Johnson's in for Averitt. Pepperdine's gone from down two to up three just that quickly. 40 to 37 waves. 16.51 to play here in Vegas. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen helping Utah families for over 30 years. Johnny Smith goes two for two from the free throw line. And just like that, Cook's down four. Six nothing, Pepperdine run. You take a lead. Hope is to expand on it. And since then, all Pepperdine. Marcelo left to George. The post feed goes to Harvard. Man on his backside. Single team. A half double comes from Edwards. Jump hook by Big Rich is no good. Tip by Gideon's no good. Rebound Pepperdine. Misses again inside. Two more bunnies missed inside in the paint. Bobbled ball by Pepperdine all the way through the key out to the right wing. And then he pulls and fires and scores from three. Wow. Pepperdine just turned the game around here in the second half. A 9-0 run after BYU took a lead. Jody Smith for three on the right side. A.B., a hard drive. He's held in the air. Will it be free throws? Yes, he said going up. 9-0. Pepperdine run. BYU miscommunication there defensively as the ball was bobbled through and... and, uh, as BYU went to recover to shooters, they uh, they they left a two-on-one with Loner and he able to hit the three. The long run of the night for Pepperdine comes right after BYU takes its only lead of the night. You just it's so tenuous when you're the team trying to get over the hump. Once you've gotten that lead, that next defensive possession is everything. Good to see some free throws go as BYU just trouble getting it in the hoop in the paint. So two for two for AB from the stripe, 43-39. Still only a four-point game, but man. What timing for Pepperdine. They go down, and they go 9 nothing. Now it's 43-39. It should be 44-39. They've counted only a 2 on the scoreboard, but a 3 on our stat monitor. So I think it's 44-39. Scoreboard shows 43. We'll see if that stays as the runner is missed. Offensive rebound and missed again by Ohia Obioha. Free throws after this because BYU fouled again. 15-51 to play. All kinds of fouls now, and BYU playing from behind again. 43 or 44, 39, with 15.51 to go. Pepperdine's back in front on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU fans at Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you will sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at EdgeD2D or online, EdgeD2D.com. What a grind it's been for BYU tonight. Pepperdine's led for more than 20 minutes. BYU's led for not even 20 seconds. 15.51 to play, and Pepperdine leads it 43-39. to Team foul situation. Looks like it's going to be a free throw shooting second half. After almost no free throws in the first half. And isn't that the way college basketball is? If it's no fouls in one half, you can expect a ton in the next, or vice versa. They never seem to equalize, or rare is the case. And both teams already, five team fouls in the second half. So a combined ten whistles in less than five minutes of the second half. 
And Pepperdine is a good free throw shooting team. Shot well against BYU the first couple meetings. We're five, to, five for five tonight. They'll get two more here from Obioha off the foul on the rebound by Harward. Now he's the right guy. 41%. If these two go free throw shooter, here, you're in trouble. He's 7 for 17 at the free throw line this year is all. And he gets two with his team up four. And missed free throws are a thing that can uh, cut into a team's momentum. And that's exactly what Pepperdine has right now. Now, they did review that shot. And it stayed as only a, t- a two and not a three from Jody Smith before the timeout. So Smith ends up back at nine points and not ten. And BYU's deficit is only four and not five. And so you're looking for a couple of free throw misses here from Victor Ohia Obioha, the 41% free throw shooter. He's at the line with 15.51 to play. First free throw is no good. So Hakovic might be a, a strategy here in the second half. Could be strategic and a positive way for BYU. His second free throw, that's good. So one for two. 44-39. BYU's deficit is five. The lead for BYU has only come one time. It was two points. Averett, left wing. Loner, hard screen, top of the key. The hedge frees Loner for the pass on the left wing. Loner, stripe extended, left side to Spencer Johnson. Lobs it low to Caleb, picked off pass. Turnover number 10 for BYU. Double-digit turnovers again against Pepperdine. Baseline drive, a trip. A foul, but no call. Harward hip checked the man. He hip checked so to the four. to the ground. So it's five on four. Caleb will drive layup good. He's and Pepperdine down. players still down at the other end. A free two for BYU. And Mark, I wouldn't have been surprised if Rich had been called for a foul on the baseline drive. Yeah, I guess he said, I mean, Rich was there and it looked like he got him with the leg, but uh, a little bit out of control was the Pepperdine yeah, player. Maybe so. Maybe Rich was just firmly enough there that. But Altman just ran into him and was knocked off balance, knocked to the ground. And so five on four, Caleb Loner does what he got to do, convert with numbers. And so BYU makes it a three-point game on the Loner yeah. bucket. And Cedric Altman is now – Give some help, Altman's man. still not – he's not He's not well. He's crawling to the sideline. He got guys right there. Help him up. Jeez. So how key of a sequence will this one be? The free two at the other end in a five-point game. 44-41, BYU's deficit is 3, 15-16 to play. Well, this game just tension-filled. Ever since the Cougars went down double digits, it became the comeback trail. And they walked that trail to a halftime tie, 35-35. Colby Ross for 3, good on the left wing. Shot maker, playmaker, Colby Ross. Spencer, who's been so good, got caught up on some screens there. Another three for Pepperdine. Six-point lead for the Waves. Averett for three. Got to go. Got it. Brandon <laughs> Averett knocks it down. A Mountain America Credit wow. Union three-pointer. Big shot, Brandon. 47-44. BYU draws to within three after Ross made it six. Back and forth we go. Edwards. Another one. Edwards missing the three. The rebound knocked from Ed- Loner to Nell. Nell ahead, Averett. Brandon to Nell. Back to B.A. Won't take it. Now he will take it and miss it back rim. Rebound, Pepperdine. Edwards tied up with Harward. Outlet to Ross. Ross down floor. Ohia Obioha tapped it out of bounds. Turnover BYU basketball. 14-20 to go. 47-44. Alex Barcelo back in the game. And who knows, maybe for the entire stretch run in this one. The best players have to be at their best down the stretch for the Cougs to pull this one out. 47-44. BYU trailing. The lead has been short-lived. 12 seconds of cushion is all BYU's had tonight. Harms collects the high lob on the right block. He backs down Ohia Obioha. A double steal Got from behind. Go. Didn't even see him. Daryl Polk Jr. takes it all the way down the other way. 11 turnovers for BYU. Polk jumper good. Just a straight double steal. Harms had no idea. And Pepperdine converts at the other end. 49-44. to Brandon Averett fouled on his drive. He'll get two free throws. The Cougs could have made it a one-point game. Instead, it becomes five on the double strip and steal by Pepperdine. There's no excuse for that, and, and Matt's at fault a little bit, but you've got no people in the stands here. He comes, and he's running from behind. You've got to let Harms know that he's coming. Yell, let him shout at him. Harms had no idea. Gets picked, and then a nice move from Polk on the other end. Huge free throws here for BYU. Won't they all be? With 13.58 to play, BYU down five, and it has just been pushing the boulder uphill. The entire night here in Vegas. 49-44, to 44, Pepperdine leads it. 
Wonder Averett how. shoots two. Pepperdine, how their stamina will be. They played Saturday. BYU's fresh and is deep as the first three throws good. Averett's got nine to lead BYU, 49-45. We've seen a lot of games where it's been tight at this point in the game and BYU able to extend the last ten minutes. Two for two for B.A. BYU down three, 49 to 46. Colby Ross, it take over time for him too. Polk on the right wing. Chukwuka at the right junction. Returns it to Polk on the arc and a foul on Averett. Just a, just a foul you hate to see. Puts him at the line with still 13.42 to go. Team foul number seven against BYU. Oh, no, that's only six. One, uh, That's six. That was quick on the scoreboard. Team foul six. The next will put the uh, waves at the line. Smith into Chikwuka. Back to Chikwuka on the angle right. Top of the key now, Chikwuka. The handoff to Ross. BYU down three. Ross to make it six. Missed it. Tip. Good. Offensive rebound score, Kessler Edwards. BYU uh, was hurt at Pepperdine with offensive rebounds. Just cannot yeah. let that happen. You get the big miss. That's how they won the game in Malibu. Johnson, right wing, drives past Ross, runs into Chukwuka, and turns it over on the pass to the wing. BYU's down five. Polk runs it into the paint to the trailer. Ross, touch pass Chukwuka. Chukwuka back to Colby straight away. BYU turns it over for the 12th time. It killed him. In Malibu, it threatens to do the same tonight. George almost fouls Ross, who misses the jumper. No call, the rebound to Gideon. The next foul will put both teams at the free throw line. Averett, front court, right side. BYU down 5, 51 to 46. Averett, harm straight away. Alex to the angle to left. AB for three. Got it! <laughs> AB for three. And the Cougars within two, 51 to 49. Barcelo with his first bucket of the second half. He's got 11. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three pointer for BYU. Cougs down two with 12, 22 to play here in Vegas. Right on cue. This is Alex's time. we got to put the team on his shoulders. Smith. Low to Edwards. Edwards bodied in the paint by Harms. Edwards in the short corner. Spins on Matt. Jump hook is missed. And the rebound. Gideon George collects it. Big board by Gideon. BYU down two. Uh, gave it away. Oh. Another turnover and a foul and free throws for Pepperdine with 12.04 to play. What a sequence there. Turnover number 13 for BYU. The good fortune comes and then stops that quickly. Incredibly sloppy at this point in the season to make those kind of passes. That was a problem at Pepperdine. It remains a problem tonight, the turnover trouble. 13 turnovers and Pepperdine, 14 points off of turnovers. That's why they have the lead is their seven-point cushion in points off of turnovers. turnovers. Johnny Smith, one and one, and he got it. Smith, and that's basically another point off of turnover as BYU turned it over and then fouled. Three turnovers from both George and Johnson. Ten points for Smith. The lead back to three, 52 to 49. Two for two for Smith. He's got 11. BYU down four, 53-49. Just got to take care of the ball. Let's, let's watch this now. The final 12 minutes, where will that turnover number go to? It's 13 right now. What will they finish at? I say it's got to be no more than 15, Mark, for BYU to feel really good about things. Yeah. George, left corner. Lobs to Harvard and almost another turnover, but a foul in the back. will put Big Rich at the line after this. 11.45 to play. BYU's down four, 53-49. Harvard one and one next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard for the scoreboard update. Gonzaga awaiting the winner of this game for the championship game tomorrow. Gonzaga defeating St. Mary's earlier today, 78-55. The entire Zags starting five scored in double figures. Let's get back down to the Orleans Arena and Greg Rubel. Thank you, Jason. BYU trailing Pepperdine. We've said that almost all night. 53-49, Waves lead it. 11.45 to play here at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. BYU fans, if you're looking for an even more convenient way to shop at Smith's, try Smith's Click List. Order online, then pick up curbside by the store. Visit smithsfoodanddrug.com for details. Waves up four. BYU can make it two. Richard Harward's at the line. Rich is one for two. 
tonight and 52% on the year. 10 for his last 20 from the free throw line and has to make them both to have the lead from 4 to 2. Both teams, seven team fouls, so we're going to see one and one, at least one and one for a little while. Double bonus, a likelihood for both teams. Not Rich's happy place, but the first one here obviously is the most important. To get one or two, you feel lucky, but he's got to make the first one. Watching that turnover number for BYU, it's at 13. Their most turnovers in a WCC tourney game, 17 all time. Rich misses. Front end miss for BYU. Chance for two, they get zero. 11.35 to go. Colby Ross runs it to the right. Waves play fast. They can afford to go slow. Jody Smith baseline jumper is good. The Waves make BYU pay for the free throw miss. Six-point lead when it could have been a two-point game. BYU just no comfort zone at all tonight. Johnson from the right wing. Pick and roll low to Loner. Oh, my gosh. Bounced it out of bounds. Turnover number 14. Got it in a pretty good spot, but he went to put it on the floor and it just slipped out of his hands, out of bounds. Pepperdine can play for an eight or a nine-point lead right here. 11 minutes to go. Now the Cougars had a strong last 10 minutes of the first half. They'll need to do it again or they're going home. Hand off. Fight. Oh. BYU stole it and then gave it back. BYU had a steal and then threw it out of bounds. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy stuff going on. Great, great steal on the in- interior bounce pass and just kind of lost it up in the air. Avery tried to get it out of bounds. Wow. 14 second shot clock, 10.53 game clock. Cougs are running out of clock, 10.53 to go, six point deficit. Just not able to play in front at any point tonight. A two point lead for 12 seconds, and that is it for BYU. Colby Ross out front, right wing Smith. To, oh, stepped on the out of bounds. How do they miss that? Oh, they got it. They called it a travel. At least they got that part. The official right in front of it didn't even see the foot was out of bounds, but luckily Randy called the slide. So turnover Pepperdine. BYU down six, 10 47 to go. Just have to stop chucking the ball away. 14 giveaways for BYU. Marcelo driving kick. Abert will fake the three. And offensive foul on BYU. That's turnover number 15. Another turnover. Maybe a little bit of a flop, but just unnecessary for Brandon as he extended that left arm. Well, the Cougs have almost as many turnovers as shots made, and you're 30 minutes into the game. 15 giveaways, 19 field goals made. Four turnovers in the last three minutes for BYU. It's, it's the Pepperdine, it's the Malibu script all over again right now. Cougars try to flip the script late. There's time. It's got to happen soon. Altman will drive it. Oh, a tough shot over Harms, and he gets it to go. Wow. Cedric Altman, that's not a high-percentage shot at all, and it goes. It's an eight-point deficit. BYU trail by 12 in the first half, eight in the second half. Is it going to be a fourth straight or a third straight one-and-done for BYU in Vegas? The tourney trouble is troubling indeed. Foul for Pepperdine on the BYU front end. One-and-one, Matt Harms will take. BYU's down eight. It's, it's, It's feeling... Yeah, you know, just borderline dicey here. It's <laughs> man alive. 10 10 to play. BYU's down 57 4. Gotta make two free throws here. Hasn't taken a free throw all night. Gets Got it. it. Matt Harms, so good from the line. 79% on the year. Matt Harms with his first free throw make on his first free throw take of the night. BYU within seven. This to make it six. Two for two. Watch. Well done. Matt Harms, 57 51. But the Cougars need some stops and need to stop turning it over. 15 giveaways for BYU. Ross into a 15-foot jumper. Missed it. Took it early, and Gideon George rebounded it. All right, Cougars can make it four or three. Brandon Averitt, just a prayer. Ends up rebounded by Caleb Lohner, and he missed it on a jump hook. Yet another bunny miss right in the paint, right at the rim. So two misses on the trip. In a game, you're trailing by six. Edwards missing an 18-footer and rebound to Harms. The Waves are opening the door for BYU. Can the Cougs walk through? George in the paint, and he turns it over. That's turnover number 16, and Mark, I kind of saw that one. I felt it coming, Uh, the way he dribbled it into the paint. Gideon's just lackadaisical lackadaisical today. Smith, a jumper from 16 feet. Pepperdine's just so confident. They're, They're taking everything right now with ease, and BYU's down eight again, and the Cougars just cannot solve the turnover trouble. 
16 giveaways, one away from their all-time tournament high here at the WCC event. Marcelo will drive it, kick it, George. Bobbled it, pulled it back in, and gives to Averett in the right corner. Three, nope. Rebound, Loner. Tied up, Pepperdine on the arrow. Wow. Caleb Loner got tied up by Colby Ross. So BYU's down eight with 8.56 to go, and BYU has been one and done in 2019, one and done in 2020, and looking at another one here in 2021. Gideon sits one for five, four turnovers. 8.50 to turn it around. Eight-point deficit. Another jump. Oh, man, and a foul, a three-point play chance. Cedric Altman makes it from the free-throw line, and he's hit. Pepperdine's up 10. They can make it 11 with under nine minutes to play. Things are getting away from BYU. The Cougs could take only a two-point lead in this game. It was lost within 10 seconds, and it's been all Pepperdine since. BYU's had the worst of times at tournament time. And indeed, if they don't win this game, they'll have a losing record in Las Vegas since joining this league. Yeah, it's a problem that BYU's had for a long time and don't seem to be able to be looking to solve anytime soon. Altman missing a free throw. It'll keep it at 10. Uh, still time. 10-point deficit, 8.41 to play. The time is now. BYU closed the first half very strongly. They have to do it again in just the same way. Marcelo, runner, no. Offensive rebound, Harms. Stick back big, big, big make by Matt Harms. He's got 10. It's an eight-point game. The Cougars need successive stops and successive makes. 8.20 to go. They're down eight. 61-53. Altman or Smith hands low. Foul. Chukwuka goes up. He's hit by Harms or Johnson. It'll be free throws for Pepperdine. Team foul number nine for BYU. The Waves shoot two the rest of the way. Kenneth Chukwuka, a 74% free throw shooter, just two points on the night. No free throw attempts. Colby Ross with a sense of the moment when BYU went up two, Ross answered immediately and the Cougs never retook a lead as Chukwuka misses the free throw and the Cougs will take that, thank you very much 8.16 to go Pepperdine 61, BYU 53, the Cougars have never come back in a game they trailed by 12 to win a game this year can they do it? They've got 8-16 to find out. Down 9 now. 62-53. 8-15 to go. We'll take a massive effort late. Matt Harms, mid-post right. BYU's ticketed for the NCAA tournament, but they could drop a seed line or two with this result tonight if they don't come back and win it. But that's a Trevin Nell 3 from the right wing, and that's going to help greatly in the comeback effort. It's a six-point game. 62-56. Trevin Nell with his first three of the night. It's a Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. See if BYU can start clamping down. It's Ross. Runner. runner in and out for Colby Ross. BYU the rebound. 7.42 to go. The under eight-minute timeout is coming up. It's a three, six-point game now. They can make it four or three and hang right in this on this possession right here. Marcelo from 30 feet left side. One hand whip to the right wing to Loner. Loner conveys to Johnson. Spencer Johnson to the top of the key. A pass in the paint. A bump in the back. Free throws after this. That's team foul nine for Pepperdine. So one more one and one for BYU when we come back. Free throws can make it a four-point game. Moments ago, Pepperdine had this out to a ten-point lead. And now... It's down to six, and BYU can make it four when we come back. 7.25 to play here in Las Vegas. Pepperdine 62, BYU 56, biggest one and one of Matt Harms' night. Maybe BYU season coming up on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU fans, if you're looking for an even more convenient way to shop at Smith's, try Smith's Click List, where you order online, then pick up curbside by the store. Visit smithsfoodanddrug.com for details. Moments ago, Pepperdine had a chance for an 11-point lead. They missed a free throw that would have completed a three-point play. As we come back in, BYU can make it a four-point game. 62-56, one and one for Matt Harms, the final one and one in this game. Both teams will shoot two the rest of the way. Matt Harms is two for two on the night, ten points on the night. 
BYU trailed by double digits in both halves, Mark, and are still trying to find a way to get this one done. And uh, another example one. of their tenacity. Oh. They've been showing it all year as Matt Harms makes the free throw. He's three for three, and that's been this BYU team just grinding and finding ways. Can they do it again? 62-57, BYU down five. This for a four-point deficit, and again, Matt wow. Harms, four for four from the free throw line. BYU's within four, 62-58. They're Gotta fired get stops. Up. Ross to a wide open, Jan Zedek for three, and he oh. missed it. A rebound to Barcelo. <laughs> it might happen. Nell fakes the three. Open path to the basket. Driving Nell. lane. Score! Trevor Nell! Five big points here late. All the way to the 10 for two for Trevin. 62 to 60. And just like that, it's a one possession game. Ross. Charge. Charge. It is. Offensive foul. Spencer Johnson draws the Colby Ross offensive foul. And BYU goes from down 10 with a chance to tie or take a lead in 90 seconds. And so, indeed, what we saw late in the first half is repeating itself somewhat here in the second half. Can the Cougars finish it off? What a comeback this would be. 62-60, Waves lead it. Johnson, left wing, Loner, top of the key. Barcelo, straight away to Matt. Matt gives to Spencer Johnson. Johnson runs the pick and roll with Harms, floats it and missed it. The rebound slapped to Spencer, knocked out of his hands. Pepperdine comes away with it. Colby got hit in the face. He wants something. He's not getting it. Waves up two, six and a half to go. Ross to Edwards, elbow jumper, missed it. Rebound Harms, another miss for Pepperdine. Can the Cougs make him pay at the other end? 62-60, Waves still in front. A couple of stops and a couple of makes, and BYU might have the momentum they need to get this one done. Barcelo runs it to the top of the key. No look to Nell. Nell will drive it. Oh, a tough 18-footer. It's barely front-rimmed. Mm. I like this. Although Nell made a shot, this has got to be Alex Barcelo time, and Nell and Johnson have taken these last two shots. So tough getting over the hump. 62-60. Waves keep the lead under six to go. 5.55 to play. Cougars just have to defend their way to a win. Elbow jumper from Altman is back rimmed. The rebound, Loner saves in. Cougars again a chance to take a lead or tie here. 62-60, Waves lead at five and a half to go. It's got to be Alex or maybe get inside to Harms. Nell terminates on the right wing to Harms, guarded by Chukwuka. Matt Harms to the middle on Chukwuka. Jump hook, no, strong on it. Rebound oh, Pepperdine. Right at the Just rim. not happening for BYU on the offensive end. Not going to have an easier shot. Back iron. The Cougs made that tremendous run in the span of 90 seconds to take a 10-point game to two, and then the lid goes back on the bucket. Smith, lob low to Edwards, foul, free throws. Loner called for the foul. Loner Whoa. or Harms? It's Loner. So, two free throws for Pepperdine. The Cougars just could not tie it, could not lead it. Pepperdine gave them chances, multiple chances, and it just did not happen. 5.07 to play. Still plenty of time. Edwards' big free throws for the Waves. That's short. That was woefully short. Edwards is an 87% free throw shooter mark, and that looked like a nerve shot. Pepperdine's feeling the heat, but BYU not much better. Not making them pay. 62-60, 62-60, waves up two, 5.07 to go. What a finish we have in store here in Las Vegas. Harm sits, Barcelo sits. That's inexplicable at this point. They better be not longer than 30 seconds, one possession. Edwards, second free throw. Short. Ooh, Good. Three-point game, 63-60. to Averett, left side. This will be Brandon. BYU scoring drought of two minutes after getting to within two. Averett. To the right corner. Has the taller Ohia Obioha. A great pass to Loner. Goes behind the back around Ross. Skip pass on the right wing to Johnson. Johnson will penetrate. Run into his man. Offensive foul. Turnover number 17. And turnover number four against Spencer Johnson. And BYU has tied its WCC tournament high for giveaways in a game at 17. And the points off of turnovers will kill BYU tonight. 20. A Pepperdine 60 have come off of BYU turnovers. Our Pepperdine 63 have come off of BYU turnovers. Still a one possession game, but time is waning. Tough baseline jumper from Jody Smith, and he missed it. And Richard Harward tracks down the rebound. The Waves just not able to finish. And the Cougs equally struggling at the other end. 
63-60, Pepperdine leading it. Abert to the top of the key. Who will make that shot? Big shot, Brandon's always a good option. Spencer for three. No, strong. It's not even getting the rim. Fight on the floor, or they call a foul on Harvard. He just dove on top of a Pepperdine player. So he hit the right guy, I guess, but that three-pointer was not even close. I don't know what to touch the rim. What is going on with Spencer Johnson? He... He's not Alex Barcella. Alex needs to be taking these shots. He'll check back in. Every shot is being put up by Spencer Johnson, and it's not working out. I love Spencer. Hey, no one loves him more than me. But th- that's this is not Spencer Johnson time. This is Alex Barcelo time. Timeout will take it. 4.08 to go. Pepperdine 63, BYU 60. The Waves shoot two after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the America First Credit Union courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU basketball brought to you in part by Sierra West Jewelers. Diamonds Direct, lowest prices in three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers, we price match. These are the moments of the game to this point. The two big moments came early in this half when BYU took its first lead of the game, its only lead. They went up two. After taking a two-point lead, they gave up an 8 nothing run immediately. Lead gone, bigger deficit, Pepperdine reestablished control. Then late in the second half, BYU over the span of 90 seconds takes a 10-point deficit to two. Since that happened, three minutes scoreless. So getting above two or getting up two and then getting to within down two, the next things that happened were eight nothing against and three minutes scoreless for BYU. Those are the moments where the momentum was there to be grabbed, secured, held, and it went away on both occasions. Yet, after all of that, 4 8 to play, one possession game. Pepperdine 63, BYU 60. The Cougars have tied their single game WCC tourney high with 17 turnovers. But I note, the previous highs of 17 came in 2015 and 2012 against Portland and San Diego, and BYU won both of those games. So, looking to do the same. Survive the high turnover number and advance to the WCC title game. We come back in with big free throws, two of them for Victor Ohia Obioha. One for two from the line tonight, not a good free throw shooter, and he misses. So one for three, and he's a 41% guy. And, Mark, as long as he's on the floor, this could be a way to win the game. Well, the last four or five possessions have been either Johnson or Nell shooting. You had one little jump hook from Harms. That needs to change. Get a shot for Alex Barcelo. One for two again for Ohia Obioha. Four-point game, two-possession game. 64-60 waves lead it. Four minutes to go in a four-point game. Oh, man, alive. Just Matt Harms just threw bounds. it out of bounds. I mean, not Brandon really Averitt, Brandon Averitt came to meet, and the ball was thrown over his head and out of bounds. That's an unforced error. That's turnover number 18. Never before has BYU had this many turnovers in a WCC tournament game, and the points off of turnovers will spell BYU's demise if BYU cannot win this one in comeback fashion. Edwards, right wing Ross, 18 turnovers, only 22 shots made. Ohia Obioha jumper over Harms. It's an eight. It's a six-point game. 66 to 60. Ohia Obioha with eight. Wow. BYU played with fire all night long, and they may get burned. Ohia Obioha hits Harms in the back, and now it's two more for Matt. He's been perfect tonight. Got to make them both. Goes without saying. 3:28 to play. Six-point game. 66 to 60. Pepperdines kept BYU at bay all night long. BYU basketball brought to you by BYU alumni. Cougar fans, BYU alumni wants to remind you to wear the Y on Fridays. BYU alumni connected for good. Another connection for Matt Harms. Five for five at the free throw line. Five-point game. 66-61. Harms with 13. Harms with 14. Six for six at the stripe. If BYU wins this game. It's going to be a big reason why the 7-3 guy making all of his free throws. Two, it's a two-possession game. 66-62, Pepperdine leads it. But they've got to stop these jumpers from going for the waves. Pepperdine shooting 44%, BYU 40%. Ross accelerates to the left elbow. Stops there, fades away, shoots, and scores another one. Mark, it's mid-range jumper after mid-range jumper. They're all going down for Pepperdine. Johnson went underneath that, left Ross on arms wide open. Shot after shot, Pepperdine knocks him down. 3.04 to go, BYU's down six again, just not getting the stops. Defense has been BYU's calling card, not tonight, not in the second half. Harms made loner right wing Averitt. Averitt 
has Kessler Edwards on him. He'll drive it right to the rim. Reverse lay-in. Good. Oh, wow. What a big make by Big Shot Brandon. Abrick makes it a four-point game. 2.40 to go. They need to get stops and rebounds. Pepperdine's making everything right now. 2.35 to go. 68-64. Waves lead it. BYU looking at a third straight one and done. If they can't come back from down four in the final two and a half. There's time, and this team is tenacious. Ross, a step back on Spencer Johnson. A deep three left side. No, he missed it. Rebound, Barcelo. The Cougars can run. A rare chance. Averitt, hard to the hole. And a block is called as the shot's missed at the rim. Jody Smith is called for sliding on Averitt. And so that's four on Smith, and Brandon Averitt will shoot two massive free throws to make it a one-possession game. 2-11 to play. Pepperdine 68, BYU 64. The Cougs trying to win a game in which they've barely led. Free throw for Averett. Got it. Brandon Averett, three for three. Matt Harm, six for six. Barcelo, two for two. Those big three, 11 for 11 from the free throw line. Timeout Pepperdine. It's a one possession game now. 68 65, 2 11 to go. Averett's got a second free throw coming. And we're going to take a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Pepperdine 5-2 in its last seven WCC tourney games. BYU 0-3 in its last three. Trying to break that streak here tonight. Trailing Pepperdine by three. 2-11 to play here at the Orleans Arena. BYU Basketball brought to you by JCW's. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody from burgers to wings, shakes to salads. JCW's quality and a lot of it in Lehigh. American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, now open in Harriman. Pepperdine is led for 34 minutes and 22 seconds. BYU's led for 12 seconds. Yet, the Cougars may yet win this game. 68-65, Waves lead it by three. As we come back in, Brandon Averitt will shoot a second of two free throws, and none of the big three have yet to miss a free throw. They are perfect on the night. BYU as a team is 12 for 14 from the free throw line. That may win BYU the game on this night. BYU's out rebounding Pepperdine 37 to 30. But the Cougs are being outshot. And the Cougs are certainly out being out turnovered right now. 18 giveaways for BYU leading to 22 points off of turnovers. Nearly a third of Pepperdine's points coming after BYU giveaways. Averitt, second free throw. He thought about that a long time in the timeout. Bends the knees, shoots, scores, Clutch. swish. The big three, 12 for 12 from the stripe. Two-point game. Stops and makes. Gets you the win. 2.08 to go. 68-66. Waves lead it by two. The Cougars keep on coming back in this one. Down double digits in both halves. Trying to be the comeback Cougs yet again. Cedric Altman drives past Averett. Nice elevation by Brandon, but Altman scores over him. Every time down, the Waves... Get a big make when they need one. Out of the timeout, they set up an isolation on Averitt. They now have a size advantage. BYU has to make now. Harms gets it low and makes it at the rim off the window of the rim. Maybe a hit in the back, but no call. A lot of contact. 70 to 68, though. Matt does convert on the high low. He's got 16 points to lead BYU. The big three all in double figures. It's all about defensive stops and rebounds. 90 seconds to go. It's a two-point game. This feels like the Malibu game. Block. Blocked by Harms, but the Waves get the ball back on the deflection with a 12-second shot clock. The Cougs appear to have ended the possession, but no. The Waves get it back. Edwards jabbing on Loner. Shoots a three over and misses it. Rebound BYU. 1-10 to go. The Cougs can tie or take a lead. Here we go. 70-68. to Waves lead it. 105 to go. This feels like exactly what happened in Malibu. Can the Cougs flip the last-minute script? Alex, it's been silent the last five minutes. Is this the time to make some noise? Marcelo rocks the dribble with 50 seconds. A.B. step back. Hand to Averitt, top of the key. Averitt drives past Altman to the rim. Missed it, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws to tie the game with 47.9 to go. BYU basketball brought to you by Sierra West Jewelers. Diamonds Direct, lowest prices, three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers, we price match. We're trying to score match here. Averitt with two will tie the game. 70-68 to 68 waves, 47.9 to play here at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. Averitt at the line, shoots and misses. Well, that'll be interesting now. BYU with 48 on the clock. I don't know that you foul. 
that point, you just try and get a stop. You make them both, you get a stop, you play for the win. Yeah. Instead, free throw miss. And, you know, now still you get a stop, you play for the win. That's true. You make, you make one free throw here, you still <laughs> play for the win. So, you know, they're not uh, by any stretch done here, but uh, that's a, a, a free throw miss from the big three for the first time tonight. They were 12 for 12 until that moment. Yeah, just back iron for Brandon. He's just been so clutch. Big shot Brandon. We all know him, and that, that's tough. That one hurts, but uh, a, lot, a lot of time left here. Your chance to get down just one. 70 to 68. Pepperdine defeated BYU in Malibu. A very similar feeling game. That final score was 76-73. Averett second of two to make it a one-point game. Can the Cougars win a game in which they barely lead? We hope to find out. Averett bends the knees, shoots, and makes. Got one of two. BYU trails 70-69. to 69. If you can find yourself a turnover here. And the Ohia Obioha's in the game. And I, I wouldn't have him in the game if I were Lorenzo Romar. You might, put, you could put, you know, Todd Golden would put him at the line right now. Yeah, he might not see the see a touch here. But you could foul yeah, him away from the ball. Away, you're right. Yep. And you could foul him and put him on the free throw line here. Thirty seconds to go in the game. Twelve second shot clock. Kobe Ross for three, missed it. Rebound. Connor Harding gives to Barcelo. BYU with 26 seconds to go. The shot clock is off. The Cougs are down, 70 to 69, with the basketball timeout. Mark Pope calls timeout. BYU plays for the lead and hopefully the win. 70-69, Pepperdine leading it, 22.6. Colby Ross, Mark, was shooting for the dagger. Yeah, he wanted it, and BYU went under that screen again, which left him wide open, and Colby just could not finish it off. We're going to stay right here with it as the teams take a full timeout, but we've uh, taken our complement of media breaks, so we're going to stay and talk you through to the final 23 seconds of play here at the Orleans Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, semifinal Monday going late into the night. 70 to 69, the Waves lead this thing. BYU trailed by 12 in the first half, by 10 in the second half, and now trailed by one in a game BYU's led for again. That number only 12 seconds. That's all BYU's had. But if the Cougars can lead for the final 12 seconds, that'll, right. be, that'll be just fine. I'll take 24 seconds if you can get it. Now, I mean, I mean, the, the shot clock is off. No. So the Cougars can take as much time or as little time as they want here. I think you want to score as early as possible just to give yourself yeah. multiple opportunities here. And, uh, again, I keep going back to Alex Barcelo. Just has been invisible uh, uh, offensively anyway. Of course, Brandon has had success off the dribble, getting in the paint, getting to the free throw line. But I, I just have to think this is Alex Barcelo time. And he's, he's got to find a way to get in the paint, shoot it, and then you've got – Nell and Loner and Harms need to crash that board. Doesn't matter if you foul, go get a rebound. If the Cougars can get a make, wouldn't it be appropriate that they would win the game at the other end on defense? That's been what this team's signature has turned out to be late yeah. in the year. All right, got to get the make first. 22.6 to go. And again, I think you do want to go a little bit early, so if you don't get the rebound, right. you can foul and give yourself a shot. Nell will trigger at the far sideline. Harms, Barcelo, Averett, Loner in the game with him. A.B. takes the inbounds. Down to 20 seconds. Left wing, right wing, Averett to Barcelo. Driving lane, reverse score! The All Cougs right. take the lead and timeout. <laughs> what a shot. There he is. He All ain't right. quiet anymore, baby. So here's your setup. BYU leads for the second time tonight. Oh, mercy. The lead earlier was 37-35. It lasted 12 seconds. Listen. Now they've got a lead 71-70 to 70 with 16.6 seconds to go. Alex Marcello, Mark, on your command, made the shot of the night. The driving reverse, now it's a high degree of difficulty, too. He makes it, but man alive, the spin off the window, the score. So the Cougs have a chance now to defend their way to a win. And you know Colby Ross will be the guy with the ball in his hands. And here's a number of note. Colby Ross has not taken a free throw tonight. And, he, and it would not surprise yeah. me at all he'll if they're going to drop a play that. to get Colby into the paint, yep. force the officials to make a call to put him at the line to win the game. 71-70, BYU's in front with 16.8 to go. What drama we have here in Las Vegas. It has been such a grind and such a struggle and such a chore. Oh, it would be so satisfying 
to defend your way to a win after everything has transpired here tonight. 71-70, BYU's back in front for only the second time tonight. You just need to make sure that Colby Ross isn't a Jordan Ford here. Make sure you got the right defensive. Don't let him beat you. Someone else got to beat you. Yeah, right. And, uh, and you know, this, this great, great opportunity here for the Cougars. What a play. Nice give and go in the corner. Far side. Brandon caught it. Alex came and got the ball back from him. Turned the corner baseline. Able to use the rim to shield Oof. the defender. Now we got another timeout. So <laughs> they're stretching it out here. Yep. But we what will, a shot uh, from Alex. We'll talk you through to the final. They, they put two-tenths of a second back on the clock. Goes from 16-6 to 16-8 is what they've done there. So we have a 16.8-second game clock and a one-point BYU lead. And, yes, Mark, I just remembered, as you said, at the heartbreak of last year, one year ago here against St. Mary's on semifinal Monday night when Jordan Ford made the near-last-second jumper to give the Gales a 51-50 win. And the Jordan Ford of last year's team and this year's team and every team lately for Pepperdine has been Colby Ross. And, in fact, those two, of course, had that memorable duel last year here in Vegas where they both scored 40-plus to set St. Mary's up for the game in which they beat BYU. I'd look to double him and make him not be the guy that beats you. And, obviously, got to be aware of Edwards. And uh, I mean, but just don't let Ross beat you. And uh, they're, getting, they're coming out. This will be exciting. Colby Ross, 6 for 20 from the yeah. field. One for eight from three and no free throws. He's not had a Colby Ross type game, but he doesn't care. He's thinking about 16.8 and the chance to be the man in what might be his last game as a college player. And then everyone box out. A lot of times you'll see a miss and then a tip in at the buzzer. So everyone, don't just watch the guy shoot it. Go get a rebound. Okay, here it is, folks. 16.8, 94 feet away. Pepperdine with the ball. BYU trying to make it count. Avoid heartbreak and grind one out here in Vegas. The inbound goes in to Cedric Altman. Altman runs it past the timeline. Down to 13, down to 12. Accelerates to the baseline. Stops in the paint. The jumpers deflect. Blocked by Harms. Blocked got by it. Harms. Gives to Johnson. Hands to Marcelo. Oh! They call the foul with Spencer Johnson with the ball in his hands. I thought he got it to Barcelo. Matt Harms deflects uh, on the block. And I thought Marcelo's they should. Barcelo's walking to the free throw I, I, line. He should. He should. <laughs> he should walk to the free throw line. Oh, oh no, and he backs off. Wow, Spencer Johnson. All right. Has had a tough night. He's done a good job guarding Ross, but has struggled. Turnovers. Spencer Chance Johnson has made nine it. of his last ten from the free throw line. He's a 72% free throw shooter. 5.6 to go. A lot of time. A lot of time. Pepperdine, and no timeouts left. Even if he misses a free throw on the second, there's not a lot of time left for Pepperdine to set something up. All right. Pepperdine, I think timeouts are done, and they're, they're huddling on the sideline here. That was an interesting play by Pepperdine as they went to, was it Altman, to try to, to score, and Harms was backing up the defense and blocked it. He and blocked it and off the deflection collected it, gave to Johnson. Johnson gave to Barcelo, but they say that Johnson was fouled before A.B. could get the ball. If A.B. gets the ball there, you feel great about your chance to get up three. And I don't... Uh, Coach Pope is a little exasperated that Pepperdine's able to have a they're out of basically timeouts. a timeout here. And, and, they've, been, a, and they've, been, they've, been drawing, they've been drawing things up here. Yeah, Smith fouled out, so that right. gives them an excuse to take some time. So 5.6 remaining. BYU at the free throw line, shooting two. Spencer Johnson, they say, was the fouled player. So Spencer will go to the stripe, hasn't taken a free throw tonight. BYU as a team is 14 of 17. Spencer, he's been good. He's been really good from the strike. And he was great at Malibu in a game BYU lost. All right, Spencer, knock him in. He's got to He makes two, he makes two he can't here. Lose. You can't lose in regulation. Johnson for the first of two. Here we go. Missed it. All right, so now you've got to re- not going to call timeouts. So you got to really defend the three-point shot. Don't lose on a three. Second for Spencer. Got it. 72-70, BYU by two. Into Ross with five and four and three. He's going to get a look from inside the three-point line. Got it. And we're going to overtime. You take it. You take it if you're BYU. That's a killer, but you're, you're in the game. You survived. Which didn't look like a possibility not too long ago. What a 72, shot. 72. What a shot, though. 72 all. We're taking a break. Overtime next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.